Hey everyone, this is Apple iPhone Tech UK here, and today we're going to downgrade our iOS 5.1 down to an earlier firmware. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is to have downloaded the firmware of the device that you have and the firmware that you want to downgrade to, so in this case 5.0.1. Uh, I'll give it a link in the description. And the other thing is Tiny Umbrella, which we'll use to download our SHSH blobs to our computer and iFaith which is the program we need to actually create the customized IPSW and obviously you need your device to be plugged in as this shows here so the first thing we're going to do is to go to Tiny Umbrella I'll just load that up first thing is that the first thing to say is that you do not have to be jailbroken to run Tiny Umbrella um, as the SHSH blobs they they're saved onto your device um, and so therefore we can just download them from there and so whilst I just wait for this hopefully it won't take too long so yeah we're just going to be saving our SHSH blobs which we'll then use in iFaith so now our Italian umbrella has come up I just can't say um, that this you basically do not use Tiny Umbrella to this what do not use Tiny Umbrella to update your device um, because it will completely screw up your server settings for Apple restoring and updating your device. So do not. We're just using Tiny Umbrella to download the SHSH. So you're going to go up to Connected Devices. So I just select it, and then up here I've already saved but that would be blank for you so you just go up to uh, save SHSH so we just click on that and down here it will say device connected and it will find all the SHSH and then it will save it on your computer now after this done I should have said this before when you currently if you go into advanced you'll then save the SHSH directory so this is where you'll tell it where to save so I just saved it in my personal folder so that's where we will find them later okay so now we save them we do not need tiny umbrella anymore we'll just close that and then we need to run iFaith so yes to that so we're going to be using iFaith to create a customized IPSW uh, which basically tricks Apple into thinking that it, they've signed for this restore even though they haven't so we're just going to click on build signed IPSW with blobs and we'll click on that and browse for SHSH blobs cache so I've saved it in so Simon and then there dot SHSH so it's going to there and it saved all of my blobs there and I'm going down to 5.0.1 so I'll click on that particular one press open you will now effectively verify this and when that is done so now it'll, we either browse for it so either if you've downloaded it yourself like obviously I have up here or you can download it for you so I'm gonna click browse go to my desktop and then select this one here the, the stock the store so this will now verify IPSW this does take a little while so I'll come back to you after this is done okay so after you have after it has verified it will then come up with this screen and so you're just going to click on build IPSW so this will take a while about two or three minutes so I'll come back after this is done Okay, so after that is done, this screen will come up and it's saying a porn DFU state is required to restore. So we're just going to click on proceed and follow the instructions. So I'm going to power off my device. So that's off. And then it's going to follow the instructions. So holding power and home. Holding it down. So 
I just wait for this to be done. So it's automatically it's just running my web. And it's just saying it's now been put in DFU mode and just need to press shift and restore on iTunes. So I just close iFaith. We're now in iTunes and say so iTunes detected the phone in recovery mode. Press OK. And we're just going to press shift and restore. And now select uh, signed uh, firmware here. So it's going to press OK. And now that will start restoring. So I'll come back after it's finished restoring or as it's coming through. So after you have pressed restore, it will then restore just like normal, except for this different logo. As you can see there, it is restoring iPhone software. And I'll come back in a moment when it is all done to prove that it has worked. As you can see, it's now restored, it's back on the thing, and it's on the setup for your iPhone screen as well. Okay, so that's it, it is now all fully restored. And I should say one thing, when you downgrade, um, you will not be able to restore uh, your settings from a backup you made in your higher version firmware, um, cause, presuming because settings change stuff, it will not allow, allow you to do that. So you, so you will have to set up your iPhone or whatever device you have as a new device and go from there. Um, but of course you can always upgrade if you want to keep all your settings and everything like that. Okay, if you like this video, please like, rate and subscribe, and see you in the next video.